Hi! So, a blind sight relationship. I'm blind, my fiancé is sighted. Like, it's an amazing relationship, but from a blind person's perspective, it can be hard. So make sure you keep following to know my tips and tricks and strategies of what worked for me and what works for us. Thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe. Hello everyone. Thank you so much for coming on my channel, Your Canadian Blind Girl. Stay tuned to see what I have for you today. Hi, so I'm Ashley and if you have not been keeping up with my channel, you definitely need to watch the I'm Engaged video, Do I Know What My Fiance Looks Like, and my wedding dress video. <laughs> so you need to keep in touch with all my wedding stuff going on. So um, I'm engaged to a wonderful Filipino man. He's, he's in the Philippines, I'm in Canada right now. But we are in a relationship and to be honest, when I was first in my relationship with him, we had a whirlwind relationship. Within five days, we fell in love with each other and we just knew that we were, well, he fell in love with me first. I'm very skeptical and critical of men who are interested in me. So it took me a little bit longer, but I am fully in love with him now. It's challenging, to be honest. I found it extremely challenging at the beginning of my relationship. He was sighted, and because of this, I think also too when you're in a long distance relationship, it makes it harder uh, for a blind person because we video chat, so he can see me, and I can only hear him, and he would say, you know, your hair looks wonderful today, or your, your dress that you're wearing is so pretty, or you look pretty, or you look beautiful, or I like your makeup, or you know what I mean? Like he was able to give me all these visual, visual compliments. And how many times could I say to him, your voice is so beautiful before it sounds like a broken record? I felt inadequate, and sometimes I still feel inadequate. And it's because I need to learn how to think outside the box. And this is something I teach people who are losing their sight or they've had sight and now they don't have sight and this is something I always try to teach. You are going to live your best life as a blind person if you learn how to think outside the box. You have to learn to think outside the box. If you don't think outside the box, you are going to have such a challenge because our world, our society, our customs, our cultures all fit box people. There is, everything is, is made to be done in a certain way or a certain pattern or a certain design. And being blind, you don't fit in that pattern, but that's okay. So you have to learn how to think outside of that box, outside of that pattern. And like I said, at the beginning of our relationship, I just felt so inadequate. And he never, he never made me feel that way. He would say to me, you are worthy of my love, you are deserving of my love. He really went above and beyond to try and make me feel loved by him, to make me feel like I didn't have to compete with anybody. And that in itself was amazing on his part. I actually started coming up with lists, and I'm not going to go into detail because for me, with him, they're personal. That's the way I'm able to compliment him, that's the way I'm able to be sweet to him. That's the way I'm able to communicate my feelings to him. But I came up with a list of 10 reasons why I knew he was going to be an amazing husband. I came up with a list of 10, a, a, 10 reasons of why I love you, 10 reasons why you are so good, 10 reasons. So I came up with all of these reasons, um, these lists, and that was my way to be able to express love to him. And to him, he liked that. He really did. And so that was really something that worked for me. And so if you're a blind person in a relationship with a sighted person and you're feeling inadequate, don't feel inadequate. You are deserving, you are worthy of that person's love. And um, somewhere along the way, I don't know where I got this thinking of, but I got this feeling that maybe I was worthless and I don't know why I came up with that and I think I started believing that for so long that for a year I think I was feeling that way and then when I met him I didn't know how to get out of that thinking pattern so you need to make sure that you don't fall into that pattern. Now you do need to make sure that you're courteous 
that you use your manners, that you are trying to be personable, that you are trying to be engaging in that person's life. Um, because I have met people who, they're not a very lovable person. And, you know, and that's sometimes I think a little bit hard in a blind life because our world is so constricted and, you know, we are, there's so many things that we have to focus on. And so it can be very distracting sometimes in a relationship because you're like, okay, yeah, I have to focus on this, focus on this, focus on this, focus on this. And then, you know, someone pops up and you're like, oh, okay, well, uh, you, you know what I mean? And you feel like your, your focus is distracted. So you have to learn how to prioritize. You have to learn how to maneuver through all of life's fun little adventures. But um, I am going to be having more talks like this as topics come up. Um, because this was actually inspired by, I got into a conversation with somebody and they were talking about interabled couples. And that is where there is a relationship between two people. One of them is healthy and the other one is not. So maybe they have a disability or they have a limitation or, um, you know, there's something that the other spouse has to help them. And, um, someone had said, you know, they were talking about how hard it could be, and so I was like, that's true, but it's not always one-sided, because in our relationship, he does not view me in any way whatsoever that he has to help me, but he wants to help me, and he doesn't view me as a burden, but for me, I was viewing it as Oh, I'm such a burden. I'm such. I'm going to be so much work. I don't know how I'm actually helping this relationship, and that was a wrong way for me to think. Um, I realize that now. I didn't realize that at the beginning of a relationship. It got to the point that he told me to stop saying that I was a burden, and I would. I would forget and sometimes say, "Well, I don't want to be a burden," and I would say that, and so I needed to learn to stop doing that. So. Uh, if you have questions about how our relationship works with me being blind and him being sighted, go ahead and write the questions down and I will try and answer them in a video or answer your comments or questions. And yeah, and our relationship, like, I think when you have an amazing person like he is and he has an amazing attitude and he's a very strong, um, he's a very strong person and he's very willing to please me and my family. and. His love for me is so abounding. Like that's just one thing I keep being awestruck by is his love for me is mountainous. And I was so excited when my parents got to meet him for the first time because I knew as soon as they saw him the way I did, they wouldn't have any doubts because up until my parents met him, they had never met my fiance in person. And so when they finally met him, um, I'm actually filming this while they're in the Philippines <laughs> with my fiance and when I was talking to them for the first time after they really got to see him the way I see him they just they just loved him they they were amazed at how much he loved me how much he wanted to make me happy and yeah I just it's a, it's a really great relationship and one thing I want to really stress uh, for other blind people is don't get into a situation where you're making something work because you're scared of being alone or don't try to make something work because you think no one else will love you for who you are. Um, that person is out there, that person, you will find that person, but it can be really hard being patient, it can be really hard in the meantime waiting and you know with all the other stuff that comes up. But it, it's definitely worth the wait and so um, there is hope for a blind sight relationship. My braille instructor, she was blind and her husband was fully sighted. Um, they now have, their their children are grown and are having children and they are a happy family. And um, one thing that I did say to uh, William was that I said, you know, I'm always gonna be jealous of other women who are talking to you because I said, I'm not gonna be able to see how good looking they are or how they're dressed or, you know, like the way they have their hair done. And so I said, I'm always like, and I don't think jealous is the right word. I think more, um, I'm going to be more, I don't know. I don't know what the right word is, but like, I, I feel like I'm always going to have some insecurities because of that. Um, 
and he, he's he's always said to me like you don't need you don't need to worry about stuff like that like you're you're the only one in my life you're the only one I love and he really is he really is amazing so um, I'm excited for when we are finally together and we can do YouTube videos together because he is super cute super sweet um, I think I probably talk a lot more than he does but uh, I'm super excited to be doing a couple videos <laughs> So anyways, um, I really would appreciate for you to like and subscribe this video. Um, again, comment down below, share share my videos, uh, the ones that you have found insightful into applying life because you will reach people that I never will. So even though you may be sighted and you share my video with sighted friends, you are still making a difference and an impact for us in our community that are blind or visually impaired. So thank you so much for watching. I will see you in another video. Bye.